hey everyone um i wanted to check back in so many of you have written so many kind things and sent me notes asking about my training last week with world central kitchen so um i wanted to jump on and tell you a little bit about it i plan on writing more about it and posting all the pictures but um just wanted to jump on and and tell you a little bit about it um it was a two-day training down at their um Southern California headquarters in Oxnard. And it was two days of um, how to set up and what happens and the many things that can go wrong during an activation. And activation is what they call um, when, when there's a catastrophe, there's a natural disaster and they have to go in and help. Um, one of the things that struck me was their mission is to feed people and that's it people in need to feed them. And that's the bottom line. And every single thing that they do goes to that mission. And and they, they do it in a way that is um, uh, loving and caring and with dignity. Um, when they go into a place, Indonesia, Jakarta, Lebanon, um, Napa, uh, wherever they land to help people where there's um, where there's a disaster they they immediately um, connect with local people which is key to the success of the activation and um, and 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 recruit local volunteers um, their goal is to support the community love the community um, embrace prop up the community during these difficult times and um, and and to that end to the food they want to buy it locally because they want to feed people the food that that they're used to, their comfort food, the food that in their heart. Um, and they wanna help the local producers and local farmers. Um, if they buy equipment, if they need equipment, they buy the equipment locally to help these, um, these small uh, business people who, have, um, who sell this equipment. And then when they leave, they donate that equipment to that community. And they donate any leftover food to that community to really help, help prop up the community. In some places, they've started cooking schools um, to help the local economy in Haiti and Puerto Rico. So it is, um, it's truly amazing. Um, they, they're solely focused on feeding people so that people um, feel, feel loved and nurtured and, 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 and feel dignity with it. Um, the, the chef who was training, Chef Alejandro, asked the class, why do we put a garnish on every meal? And I raised my hand and I said, because it's beautiful. And he said, exactly. We want people when they open their box of food to see something beautiful that you can tell was prepared with love and caring. I'm ch I choke up all the time when I, even when I think about it, but always when I talk about it is, um, is the care and the concern that goes into it. All the meals are run by the staff nutritionists so that people are getting healthy meals um, with a certain ratio of protein to carbs to vegetables. Um, and, uh, and, and again, that focus on the local food, cooking local recipes. Um, another thing that struck me was, um, was how it's, um, their mission is to feed people and, and their thought is we will do whatever it takes um, and, and not worry about the money. The money will come. And, um, and I think when you're, when you're solely focused on such a benevolent humanitarian mission, um, you can do that because the money will come. Uh, it's the, the lengths they've gone, um, the stories they were telling us, how they found in Indonesia and they had 10 tons of rice and they couldn't get it to where it needed to go. And they, they found a, a retired army pilot who had, um, who had a C3 and they loaded up the airplane and, and flew it to where it needed to go. Um, right now they're um, with the volcano in Tonga. Tonga is a closed country and so they can't go in, but they, um, they flew the team to Fiji, sourced food and equipment in Fiji, um, chartered a ship, like literally chartered a ship filled it with food and the team is sailing it for three days, shipping, sailing, I don't know the right term, but sailing it to Tonga and then they're gonna hand it off to the local partners that they've reached out to and that, and those 
organizations will farm it out to the people of Tonga. So it's, um, uh, you, they do what it takes to help people. And it is probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Um, the chef was telling us a story about, and I believe they were in Indonesia again, and they were working with the local um, US Army. There was, I think, a group of five or six uh, men that they were working with. And after a couple of weeks, the head chef, uh, Chef Alejandro, went to them and said, you know, is there is there anything that we can cook for you? Is there any food that you've been missing? What can we do for you? And um, I'm gonna start crying again. <laughs> um, and they all said, um, oops, someone's calling me. And, and they said, a burger. We would love a burger. We haven't had a burger in five years. And so they fanned out and they found a butcher who ground meat up for them and they miraculously found some American cheese and and they got a baker to make some buns. And 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 he said that when they delivered the um, hamburgers to these guys, these big burly soldiers, he said they opened the box and they sat down and cried. And that's what it's about. It's about feeding people. It's about caring for people, loving people, and meeting people where they are, what their need is. And um, it was just the most amazing thing. <laughs> so um, it was fascinating. It was inspiring. It, um, it just reminds me that I'm on the right path and I'm doing what I was put here to do. So I wish that for all of you. And um, I will write more about this and post some pictures. And um, if you have any questions about it, give me a shout. And um, they're always looking for volunteers. You don't have to be a cook. Um, there's so many things that need to be done in an activation besides cooking um, that they always are always looking for help. So um, don't hesitate to um, reach out and um, raise your hand to help because they're um, volunteers are what are what make World Central Kitchen what they are. They couldn't do it without volunteers. So, um, and that's how I started. I just raised my hand and showed up and started cooking. So, um, so that's it from here. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.